Molling Group is, uh, is uh, the world's largest independent communications provider to the maritime uh, industry. But we don't only provide uh, connectivity, we also provide uh, crew solutions. Uh, we have a company called Palantir, which manages IT network on board. And not at least uh, do we have a company called Telemar, which does a lot of marine electronics uh, and maintenance for ship owners around the world. So, but the core of the, of the company is uh, connectivity and communications uh, from shore to the ship. Uh, we see an enormous uh, uptake of uh, true broadband solutions uh, for, uh, for ship owners all over the world. A lot of the German fleets are adopting VSAT, uh, always on broadband connectivity, which we deliver to our ceiling solutions. But we see the same happening all over the world. Asia is in the verge of, of moving from narrowband to broadband, and it's, this is going to help them uh, to take advantage of the digitalization that is coming into the shipping market as well. This is a very big topic. I think we get, when you're talking about uh, smart shipping, uh, the core uh, for me is that the, the shipping company needs to have a digital strategy. They need to understand what they want to achieve with this. With the current uh, financial situ situation in the merchant marine market, uh, we see that many people are, are embracing this as a, as a mean for operational efficiency. They can extend maybe maintenance by doing uh, condition-based monitoring of their engines and thereby delaying the maintenance cycle. They may be able to, do, to use smart routing to save fuel uh, and to operate more efficiently. But ultimately, there is so much more that can be done in the sense that they can also provide a lot of new services to their clients health of containers, uh, health of the content that they, that they are transporting on behalf of, of, of their clients. Uh, but again, the important thing is that they have a clear strategy and vision. What does the shipping company want to do and want to achieve by uh, embracing smart shipping? Big data uh, is becoming more a buzzword than anything else. Huh? But I, I think uh, the core of it is uh, enabling ship owners to take advantage of sensor-based monitoring. So, the, so every device on board will get connected. Uh, every device on board will send data to a central point, uh, which then can be analyzed for better performance by, by the ship owners. Then there is the question of, of, of big data uh, being collected on board a ship. Uh, but it's also about what data do you need to transfer to shore, uh, which we consider to be smart data. So the, this, this, the data that enables you to make decisions are the smart data. If you don't use the data for anything, there is no purpose. But if you are uh, analyzing it and taking conscious decisions based on the data, uh, then it has a real value to you. I think it's, it's still in its, its infancy. We do see new building coming up uh, with, uh, with uh, smart shipping uh, systems enabled on board, where they are 10 to 15% more fuel efficient, as an example. Uh, the, the, the green footprint uh, is, is improved, so they reduce emissions. Uh, they're able to, to operate their vessel more, more efficiently. But this is predominantly impacting the new builds and not so much yet the, uh, the existing fleet. Uh, I think the big uh, evolution will happen when we start to adopt uh, uh, smart shipping philosophy also to the existing fleet. Uh, that's when you're going to see the real impact. As a, as a communication provider, uh, what is core for us is that we, we help reduce administrative burden uh, and, and provide secure, uh, reliable, uh, guaranteed quality of the communication link from shore to, to ship. Uh, we are working uh, with a number of different uh, operators. We just introduced uh, Epic from Intelsat into our networks. Uh, we have included Telenor's uh, Thor capacity KA ban into our network and also in Marsat's uh, fleet express services. So we're trying to build a resilient global network on a lot of different technologies that will allow the ship to be sailing with a safe and secure communication link always wherever they are. And that's our uh, promise to the market. We will continue to do that.